Huh? We have arrived at the Monster Queen's fortress. At its entrance, anyway. So, as I was saying, I can handle a little solo extraction. No offense, but you ain't exactly invested in my safe return. My skin, my plan. Your call, Peter. The flark it is. I'm the one in the box, lady. Peter Quill is our leader. The burden of your possible death falls on his shoulders. Fully on board with Rocket's plan that I was totally paying attention to. See? Even Captain Space Cadet don't trust your command. Wait, what about gymnastics? I just think we shouldn't be relying on a piece of tech. You won't even be around to yes, use. We're going it to ain't find a real splicing. It's a tracker. Even you mouth breathers can figure it out. Name? Guardians of the Galaxy. Never heard of you. I'm Groot. Bonafide monster sellers. Today, anyway. What's in the box? A monstrous abomination from Halfworld and the meanest SOB in the Quadrant. Pass. Pass? Rocket! I mean, things puny. It is a hell beast, the namesake of your mistress. It would be wise to reconsider. All right, get going before I change my mind. And if the lady don't like it, I'll be carting out what's left of you in that box. Hell beast? It is an accurate moniker. The little beast has a hellish demeanor. I like it. Not exactly an easy way out if this all goes to hell. It's gonna go great. We got a killer monster and a solid plan. I would show more caution, Peter Quill. If Lady Hellbender realizes our deceit, her vengeance will be swift. What? I'm supposed to be scared just because she's got hell in her name? She runs a glorified zoo. That's no zoo. The Monster Queen has a monster army. Any chance they're the zookeepers? With guns? I have never seen a monster's tamed. But I have seen one trample a man to pulp. It's fine. Worst comes to worst, we hightail it for the Milano. Your genius plan is run away? Backup plan? Which we're not gonna need, but yeah. It's not like she can chase after us with her old monster mash. <clears throat> oh, come on. Why did we not simply dock here and avoid the planet's inhospitable surface? Because Quill flies like a one-eyed badoon. We needed time to iron out the plan. Now it's foolproof. Lady Hellbender is no fool. When her monster goes missing, she'll assume it was us. Assume, yes, but not no. Not chases across the galaxy level of no, at least. Wow! Look at this place! I'm in the wrong line of work! It is appropriately impressive for a warrior of Lady Hellbender's stature. Someday, that's gonna be ours. Ha! <laughs> not yours. Come over near the cage, and say that again. Focus, guys. Time to get those game faces on. I am Groot. He means you gotta sell the illusion, too. Exactly. The Galeran Skull. That is truly a priceless trophy. Behold. Explains the vault. Priceless? Vault? Screw the sneaking around. Let's pull off a good, honest heist. No! no! I know what you meant. Do not play me for a fool. You are not the first to claim they have captured a Tara Tara. Uh, you, you doubt its authenticity? If it is what you say it is, prove it. Or suffer the consequence of every other would-be con artist. I assure you, I said, milady. release it. We got this.
Bring in the next seller, and transfer 10,000 units to that last one's next of kin. Speak. Hey there, I'm Star-Lord. Okay. Drax the Destroyer. <laughs> the undoing of the Mad Titan in the flesh. And such flesh. Your presence honors me. You are much smaller than I expected. Oh? <laughs> and what were you expecting? Perhaps I can do something about it. But, uh, unlikely. We'll see, Destroyer. I can be quite forceful. Peter Quill. I believe she is flirting with me. Just play along, man. Flatter her or something. You got this. Just for the best. Your negotiation skills are terrible. Lady Hellbender. I can see by the size of your weapon that you must be a skillful warrior. Hmm. Perhaps I can give you a demonstration sometime. You would make an acceptable opponent. Tell me, Destroyer, what brings you to Sagnarf 9? Peter Quill, show her the creature. Flarkin' time! <laughs> what is it? It... it has a name, lady! And it talks... adorable! <laughs> Quill, make it stop. <laughs> when will it reach its big size? If you think that's adorable, you should see him drink milk from a saucer. What? I don't even drink milk! Tell her, guys. Isn't Rocket super cute? Oh, yeah. Sometimes we even tie little ribbons with bells for his jumpsuit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and if you've never seen a raccoon try to open a refrigerator, you really need to. I ain't a freaking raccoon! The raccoon's temper is quite endearing. Oh, <sighs> okay. That's it. I told you. I ain't a freaking raccoon. And I sure as hell ain't freaking cute! What are you doing? Plan B, Quill! Guys, less talking, more escaping! and get out of here in one piece. We ain't done yet. Excuse me? I came here for units, and I ain't leaving without them. I am grouped. Yup, we're gonna clean out that vault we saw on the way up. 
You can't be serious. Even Peter's not that suicidal. You want to cut and run, or do you want to get paid? I want to make it out of here alive. We don't have time to argue. Hellbender's goons are gonna be here any second. Quill's right. Shut the traps and follow me. Not what I'm saying. Let's just find the big elevator we came in on and get the hell out. No wonder we're always poor. You saps don't know how to take what's yours. to access its contents. The only if you gotta worry about Watch your tongue or I'll cut it out. Oh, I'm shaking, lady. You bring a knife to a gunfight. Brute says you can all go sit on a hot poker. Oh, fine, fine. You're all against me. But by the end, you'll be lining up to kiss my hairy paws. Oh, why'd it have to be water? Think of it as liquid karma. It is clearly water. They're just lights, and they look heavy as scut. Man, this lady's really got a thing for skulls. I used to keep trophies from some of my old contracts. Assassin's Ring. Gamora would get a kick out of this. <laughs> <laughs> 